Coming up, we're gonna take together, we're gonna take a look at the brand new app store for iOS 11 and how that impacts ASO and Apple features. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business. And today, I'm fresh off, actually, let me start with this. <clears throat> I'm fresh off the Santa Cruz event. It was freaking phenomenal. We got a lot of great feedback from everybody, and it got me so pumped up and so jazzed about next year that we're committing to four. So we're gonna come to LA, New York, Bali, most likely, and then another location, the fourth around September timeframe next year. But February in LA, in May, we're gonna go to New York, and then Bali in July. That's probably gonna be more an intimate event, the Bali one. But be on the lookout for it. We are planning up. We are planning all these events. We're ramp up, and I wasn't sure you know, how these events would take off. It was a brand new thing that I did started in April, did it again in September, and from the feedback from both events, I now feel like I understand how events work a little bit now, and the feedback that we've gotten from all the attendees have been, has been phenomenal, so we're gonna continue doing this. It's my passion to really connect and bring people together, and I think we're doing that with these events, so I wanna continue this as a passion project of mine. All right, so today I wanna to talk about the new app store. I know you guys all know because you're in the app space, iOS 11 just came out, and I wanna kinda of look at the, the new app store, kinda of go through it together because it's, I just installed iOS 11. As you can see from my appearance that I wasn't planning on creating a video, but I thought this app store was really cool looking, and I thought, hey, it would be great to create this video and walk it, to get, walk it through together with you, so as if I was doing it for the very first time. All right, so let's get into this. I'm gonna pull it up right here. So as you can see, here's the new app store. Here's a welcome message from the editors. So it feels very much editorial. As you can see, this is like a news article, if you think about it. And the editors are trying to do a good job of highlighting different things. So that's what this is all about. And you can read through this. I won't read this all for you guys, but here's a little today and you can tap into each thing and read a little bit more about it. So it can, as you can see, it feels a little bit more journalistic in a way, whereas Apple is really trying to tap into the feed mentality that we all are accustomed to. And you can see there are game of the day, the app of the day, and so forth. Now those things are different from the featured apps. So that we'll get to that in a little bit and I'll go through the tabs with you, but it looks like it's, it feels a lot more journalistic and like a publication, like a magazine in a way, than just a brochure like the old app store did. Right, as you can see, look. And what I feel like if you, you know, here's a couple of things that I'll bring up too, because my main concern was ASO and then Apple features. How does that impact me, right? That's a lot of our growth strategies, not a lot, but some of our growth strategies depend on that and a lot of people wanna be featured. So I do think if you do get the game of the week of the day or the app of the day, that you'll actually get more downloads. So I think there's a couple opportunities. You'll get featured into the other sections like this one. I'll go to it right here. So you can get featured here and then you can get featured into in the today tab. So if you get featured in the today tab, my hunch is that usually when you get featured in the old app store that you see seven day, about seven days, you'll see pretty good results and then just sort of falls off the cliff. Here, I kind of feel like you'll see a little bit more so that that seven day may feel like eight days because they don't have too much content every single day. So you might just continue scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. So the impact I feel like if you do become app of the day or the game of the day, then you should see a pretty good steady drop off rather than this humongous like cliff up, 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 and then fall. So it might just be like not as high, but you know, nice and steady, nice and steady, nice and steady, nice and steady type of feel. That's just my hunch. I'll let you know when we have our first client featured on game of the day or app of the day, All right? So I'm gonna move on from the today tab to, see as you can see the Sunday, really cool. I actually like this a lot. I, like, I love the new app store a lot. So Apple, if you're listening to this, holla back youngin. All right. <laughs> All right, so here is the games tab. As you can see, I've kind of gone through this, some of this. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are working on AR apps and one of my clients is an AR game too. And as you can see, you can scroll through this. So 
you can see all these games. There's more opportunities, I feel like, for you to be featured. And these Apple's doing a really good job of trying to highlight more apps this way. Now they have a section. Now this isn't in the old App Store, I believe, because I just updated this today and I didn't see it. But you can see they're promoting a lot of AR apps. So if you do have an AR, AR game, the, the tip I would give you is, you know, your game changing AR section is missing a key app. And lead with that as an angle and pitch Apple that way. So you can see here's some more AR apps that you can look at all the future. So now they're highlighting a lot more. And then here's the still the new games we love. I'm gonna click into see all and you can see all the new games, which is on the old iOS 11 too. So this is where we've been featured before. And I think you'll still see, I don't see the impact being too detrimental to the downloads. I think it's, this is all good stuff for us app developers and for, especially for us indies, because I think there's more spots for us to actually be featured and more opportunities for us to be featured. Okay, and then in the games, you see the top charts, top paid, top free games, and then categories as well. So really, really cool stuff. Best new updates. I don't know if these are gonna make a, such a big impact on downloads, these, these featured parts right here at the very bottom, but it'll be interesting to see. So overall, I think games getting featured, real, I, I like it. I think it's, I was afraid, because I wasn't sure exactly how it would look, but I actually like the new changes and I think it will give us more of an opportunity to be featured. All right, again, the same, I'm not gonna go through this as well because you guys can look through it, but apps, non-games, same thing. You know, obviously they're pushing AR again, get started with AR, it's a big push for us. And so one of the tricks for an Apple feature, and I think mo this is commonly known now because everybody's talked about it, is try to integrate, integrate as much new Apple technologies as you can, especially with new, OS's that come out. So definitely do that. Like Face ID is probably gonna be a big one that Apple's gonna to wanna to push as well. So that's good. And again, you see these new apps we love, which is essentially how we've gotten most of our clients featured under this new apps we love section. And we have done that. So I don't see that changing as much. I don't know if the downloads will be impacted as much because there's so much real estate up on top. Like these would probably be better up top right here, being featured there than these new apps we love. So we'll see how that goes and I'll report back as I hopefully soon get clients featured on these things. And I love the top paid and I think this is just only do more for you guys if you end ever end up in the top paid section here because it's so highlighted here, you know, it's so obvious. It's more interesting for me to find new apps this way too. Top free, you can see I've been scrolling through this. So here's the top free and here's the categories. So I would say, I'm gonna drop this a little bit, turn this off. I would say overall, this is a great thing for app developers. I think the new changes are gonna be phenomenal for us. It's gonna help us actually with being featured. I do think my hunch, this is all my hunch now, that we are actually gonna see more of a benefit in terms of downloads if we get featured. And then from an ASO perspective, actually let me share this with you. So from an ASO perspective here, I already filled it up. But the Spanish Mexico trick is still working. So this is my game right here, Galaxy Jump. I'm number two for that song, Despacito, just because I like that song and I wanted to try a couple of different tests here. But as you can see, like that is in my Spanish Mexico localization and I'm able to rank number two for that particular term. So that Spanish Mexico trick still does work if you want to deploy that. It hasn't gone away with iOS 11. And I'll be playing around with different other tick tips and tactic tactics for iOS 11. So stay tuned for that. The last thing I wanna mention is the App Masters Academy. Look, if you guys are interested in learning more, especially these new things that are coming up, there's a brand new course as we get better with this that I'm creating. It's ASO specific, specifically for iOS 11. ASO specifically for iOS 11. So ASO for iOS 11, we're gonna create a brand new course about that. I'll probably highlight some of the new things too on the YouTube channel. So if you're subscribed to that, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the important changes, what have we seen, and then sort of the advanced stuff we'll save for App Masters Academy. So App Masters Academy is a brand new thing. We've already got about 14 or 15 people already signed up, members who are in there. And right now, currently, as we speak, we have courses that we've already published elsewhere. So if you have access to them, you're gonna see those courses again. And then we're going in and updating a lot of these things. And then a brand new course that we just created this week will be on how we get the Apple features. 
So I don't think this is going to impact the course. And that was my main concern. Is my course now outdated because of these new changes? I don't think it is. And so in that course, you'll see how we've helped the 12 to 13 of our clients get featured by Apple. And the, the tip I'll give you guys, and this is what I say to potential clients all the, all the time, is getting the Apple feature comes into two halves. The first half is getting Apple's attention. And the second half is telling a good story. So the first half is really how do you get in front of Apple? And the second half is how do you tell a really good story to make sure they pay attention, right? And that's what we're gonna show you. We're gonna highlight all the little tips and tricks that we've been able to use. And the last trick, I know, I'm not trying to tease you guys in terms of like making, wanting you sign up, but there, the two strategies that we have shared is appstore.com slash promote, find an app store manager on LinkedIn. And the last one is a really good one that anytime I've shared it with a client, they're like, duh, no brainer. And, or that actually worked. I'm like, yeah, three times, baby. So this third secret strategy is what is going to be in at masters Academy. So if you want access to all of this, go to at masters academy.com at masters academy.com. It's also linked up in the YouTube description as well. As always guys, if you're enjoying this video, if you're enjoying my energy, hit subscribe and then like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.